guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. Alright, so today's video is Favorites, Fails, and Empties for the month of May slash June. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. First and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any videos. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start with empties, and then we'll move on to favorites for the last couple months, month and a half. Um, I have a very large... <laughs> this is all empties. Let's... There's some hair products in here for sure. E-Salon is the um, company that I use to color my hair. Um, this is uh, what it would come like um, if you got nothing else. I usually get, oh, you know, root touch up or I'll get their shampoo and conditioner, although I have switched shampoo and conditioners. I do get their hairspray, so I get some of their other products. And then it'll always have your instructions. And then the most important thing it is at the end, um, it will tell you your color so you can change it as you go along so I usually order this every three weeks it's on auto delivery so I just do it every three weeks and then as summer comes I might go more coppery as winter comes I might go more burgundy so I go through a lot of these I'm not gonna hold every one of them <laughs> they take up a lot of room um, speaking of East salon I've gone through several of these they're in here um, this is the root touch-up which is great this is camo mist so um, this is perfect this is in the color dark auburn which works for my hair color so I love that it is the best one by far um, body washes um, these are my okay so this is what the boys use um this is through grove it, um but i get all of my like household cleaning products body washes things like that through a company called grove it just makes it easy plus they give you free gifts so it's kind of fun so they like the uh what is this one the surf i can't even read it um so, the, oh, Sea and Surf. So, Sea and Surf is what the boys use. This is my favorite one, which has coconut, rice, milk, and shea butter. It's called Simply Nourish. So, I've gone through one of those. They've gone through two. They've each gone through one of theirs. So, out it goes. Um, here is another camo mist. I two months. Um, Australian Gold. Um, this is my favorite, and I probably have two or three in here. Um, one, two, there's at least three in here. This is my favorite. This is an instant bronzer. It has a sunscreen of 15 in it and it's lovely. I spray it on. I do a, a, a big tan, if you will, like a deep dark tan. Um, if you haven't seen that video, um, I will list it in the description box. But um, then um, in order to, one, have some sunscreen, and two, have a nice, there's nothing in this, I don't know why I would spray. Um, I usually have one down in the beauty room, because so, if I'm filming, to give it that nice, um, luxurious, uh, healthy looking glow to the skin. Yeah. Um, I've gone through a micellar water. I don't go through a lot of these because I have two. I usually have one, well I know. I have one down here and I have one upstairs. Um, so, um, but I have gone through and I use the Garnier. I've been using it for years. Um, I did go through the Charlotte Tilbury Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This also has a primer in it. I have replaced this. I think it's a good one. I do. But I happen to like, um, hold on because it will be a favorite. There, you're hiding from me. Um, I happen to um, have switched to La Roche Posay. Um, this one has a 50 SPF and it has an anti-aging primer in it. So this has become a favorite because it is a really, it's a multitasker, you guys know I like that. So obviously sunscreen, number one. Number two, pore filler. So I don't use a pore filler anymore. Um, I love that one. Um, that, is, that has become my favorite. I've gone through at least one of the cocoa under eye um, patches and yes there's another one in my refrigerator 
Um, I have a little mini fridge down here because, oh my gosh, I could have the worst bags in the world, which I do. You, they're genetic, but then, like, obviously if I don't get enough sleep or too much salt or I'm under stress, they get worse. Here's another one, so I went through two. <laughs> it's not talking. I use them every day, so. Um, I've gone through a Winky Lux Tinted Moisturizer. Again, this isn't something that I go through a lot of because, um, during the summer I use light during, excuse me, during the winter and fall I use light. During the spring and summer I use medium. So, I, so I've gone through that. Um, I have gone through a Josie Maron. Okay, here's where we all get sad or a lot of us that use this. Tina, Kathleen, <laughs> very sad. Um, Josie, Marga, Josie Maron. This is a self toner that has argon oil in it. I don't know if she stopped making. I don't know if it's being sold out. But like if you go on Amazon, this is running $60 when it's like normally $39. So people are just gouging you. Um, I'm bummed that I can't get any more right now. I'm lucky that I have a bottle here. My last bottle. So I'm kind of saving it for vacation. Um, because uh, yeah. Um, I'm sad about it. I've gone through a Bobbi Brown mascara. This is a really good mascara. Um, again, I only use it for my lower lashes, so am I gonna say to you, go get a Bobbi Brown mascara that probably costs, you know, $15, $20 when you could go get one for like $5? No, I'm not going to. Um, is it a good one? Yes. Um, I have tried the Patchology Serve Chilled on Ice Under Eye Patches, and I really like these ones. They come, I have them in my little fridge. They come in these little packets. And what I do is instead of taking like the whole container is if I'm going on vacation, I use these ones. So these are very good as well. It's just they're individual. And so that's really great when you're doing trips and stuff like that. So I just keep them in my little fridge. So those are new and they're very good. I've gone through the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. So this is the one with the really teeny tiny um, uh, applicator. I haven't replaced it with this because I've been trying out a new product um, and and I'll get there because it really is a nice little favorite. Um, I've also gone through a, a Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum by Maylove. Somehow I lost the top. Uh, next is I've gone through Lid Lifting Treatment, City Beauty's Lid Lifting Treatment. Yes, I have one up here and down there. I've also gone through a vitamin C um, and I replaced that by the same thing, True Skin. This lip scrub I tried, um, I don't have my glasses down here, and I didn't like it. Um, you could see there's still, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the smell of it. Um, I can't remember what it is. I also tried um, a, a glow screen by Super Goop um, as a primer, so as a sunscreen and a primer didn't like it, like at all, to where it's going in the trash. Um, and then I also tried the Josie Maran, this was actually sent to me, Mega Moisturizer Face Cream. I didn't like it. I hate it. It has just, I don't like the fragrance to it, and I don't like it. Um, I would tell you my favorite, and I'll pay the price all day, every day. Not that I want to, but I do. My favorite is the Tatcha Dewey moisturizer. I go through these. I try, I try to, they're expensive, so I try not to load it on, but they're my favorite and I really love them. I use um, false eyelashes. Okay, so typically the ones that I use are the False Scara by Kiss. Supernatural. Um, I love them. Uh, they're very, very pretty and they, uh, they do last if you are not smashing your face against the pillow. If you're smashing your face, you're a side sleeper like I am, then what usually happens is the very outer ones kind of get a little wonky and you kind of have to fix them. So I use Falscara. Um, now, I did also try, and I love, Glamnetics. Now, the only problem I have with Glamnetics is that they don't have refills. Like you're buying the kit every single time. 
Um, I don't like that. I don't want to buy the kit every single time. So I'm hoping that they start like selling the individual lashes. There's like three different kits. They do come with two sets and these will last longer. So there's been times where I could do it like three days and then I take them off. Now you could take them off every night um, and, and then put them on the next day. I mean, it's not you know, it's not difficult to do. Um, but typically what I do is the, the two, the inner corner in the middle will always stay. It's the outer corner because that's the eyelash that are smooshing against the pillow, I guess is the way to say it. But these are the ones I slept on these. Now, here's what I've been doing. Here's what I've been doing. I have a little trick because I'm not going to pay $44 every freaking single time. And, you know, I get the tweezers and I get the the, where is it? I have a bunch of these. I get the bond and I get the seal and then, um, you know, I get the eyelashes obviously, which those are good. Um, so what I do is I will buy, you can see right here, I have my little, um, my little lashes from, uh, Kiss, the, the Falscara. So what I do is I just buy the la individual lashes from Falscara and then I use the Glamnetics Bond and Seal because it's a hundred times better um, than the uh, Kiss. So definitely I love this. I literally have a whole bunch of them because I keep buying the kits. So like if I'm going on a special occasion or something like that, yeah, I'll buy the kit. And then it does last a long time. So it's not like it's a one and done. Um, and considering what you would pay to have your lashes done, huh, it's a steal. Um, I did try the BK Beauty uh, martini false lashes. I would like to say that I like these because she is an influencer, but like anything, I have to be, um, honest. Um, I don't, they're, they're like a half lash. So if you have full lashes already and you just want to add that drama to the third, the outer third, then these are perfectly fine, but I need like the whole thing. Like I need the inner corner to the outer corner, like these ones. So these just don't work for me. I keep them, um, you know, just as a, well, if I run out completely of lashes, I would start crying, but, um, and I would use them. Um, the other thing I tried is lid by design. I would say this is a hard one. Oh, did it work? Yes. It lifted the lids. Yes, it did. But it's like a little sticker and um, it does melt into the skin. The problem is, is if you use eyeshadow, it will not absorb the eyeshadow the way your skin absorbs it. So you really can see them. And if you see them, even if someone else doesn't, you know they're there. So it kind of drives you crazy. Now, if you're a girl that does a no makeup day, and I have used these when it's just, I'm I have just like say my um, false eyelashes on and I'll just throw those on, it will open the eye. <laughs> so it's, it's hard. Let's do it this way. For me, because I wear eyeshadow, um, you know, anytime I go out, pretty much, even if it's just because I have hooded eyes, right? So, <laughs> which I guess that is in place of doing the eyeshadow, but I see them. So it's, it's hard. I don't know. Try them. Get them off of Amazon. You don't like them, send them back. Um, e Salon. Um, so not only did I go through, and I think I do have it here. So I told you that I do the root touch up, you know, the the spray when um, I just I just did my hair. So this is this is one day of my doing my hair with E Salon, which I love. Um, I did try the Conceal and Cover Root Powder. I wanted to see how that would play. I'm just, <laughs> guys, I like things fast and simple. So a spray to me, you know, this little spray right here, boom, done. This, I have to be a little more, you know, it does have a nice little brush in it. Um, that has a thicker side and a thinner side and you just go on and you know, I don't need it obviously and now I got it on my forehead. So you just, you know, do it. So I, if I had a choice between this and this, I would choose this, but it's nice to have this as a backup. 
you know, when it first starts to do a little thing and you could go right here, or, you know, that's typically around my ears is where it starts. So it's, it's fine. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, all right. Now let's talk about, um, in beauty, let's talk about some favorites. Okay. Number one would be the ultra fill city beauty's ultra fill marionette line treatment. So, um, what I love is that it is designed specifically for nasal labial marinate marionette lines and then I also use it on the little lip lines. I have done before and afters. Ta -da. I've done a whole video on it. I'll list that one in the description box as well in case you haven't seen that. Um, currently, um, I used it for, I want to say that it was three weeks and I said that I would do a month. I'm in that month. I said I would do a three month follow up. So we have probably another month to go. Um, and so, um, and I was only using it during the day. So now I'm using it day and night. So we're going to see um, how it works. But I will tell you right off the bat, I know it works. Um, but we'll see, you know, later, it, is it like, like how much better does it get? But that's definitely a favorite. And I do use it every uh, day, morning, and night. Uh, the other product, uh, City Beauty's uh, Lip Oil. So you guys know I'm obsessed by City Beauty's Plumping Lip Gloss. I just saw you. Where are you? Uh, right here. I have it down here and I have it upstairs. I love it. Look, it's here before and after. See, my son has really bad chap lips, so I'll put some lip oil on his lips as well. I actually have... This is the one from upstairs, but this is the one that I just got for down here. Um, so those are great. Um, the other uh, favorites, um, which is really, really interesting, is sometimes I'll just pull out a new favorite. Um, this is a dual uh, eyeliner um, from Estee Lauder. So it's black for your waterline or, you know, you're making a wing or your upper line, whatever. And then it has that white for the under eye. Well, I don't like this part of it because it transfers. Um, I use what I like. I like a couple actually. So what I like and use is the Estee Lauder double wear. And this is in Cole Noir. Um, I don't even know if they have this particular black. They change the names of their stuff sometimes. But this is a really good one from Estee Lauder because it doesn't transfer to the lower. And I do the inner waterline. So let me show you what I mean. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And put it on the waterline. And it just really opens that eye. Um... And I really like that. And I noticed um, I started using it the other day and now I'm up to kind of obsessed again. So there you go. Now, I did pick up a new, two new products. Ooh, too close. Oh, well, you're, you're going to look at my brows anyways. Um, by Thrive. They're all over Instagram. So I'm like, okay, let me give them a try. Um, I First thing I did was, well, I mean, I picked up both things. This is a brown um, uh, eyeliner. Um, again, it transfers and it doesn't hold as much as I like it. Is it horrible? No. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. And then I picked up the brow, um, which is called, oh gosh, Instant Brow Fix. Um, this has a little thicker of a brush. So originally I love the 1980, which I still do, Merit 1980, which had a bigger um, applicator. Then I went to the Charlotte Tilbury, which had a teeny tiny applicator. And now this is sort of in the middle. And I really like this one. Um, you have to just be careful not to get too much product on the brush. Um, but I like it <clears throat> because I've been loving to just really like fluff the inner brows, inner corner brows up. And this does that. And I really kind of like it. Well, no, I like it a lot. Um, and it matches beautifully. And then the palette that I've been using the most is probably, well, there's two. Bobbi Brown, um, which is a great palette. Um, 
I told you they broke in moving some of my pallets, so that sucks. Um, hopefully this one will be in the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Wouldn't that be nice? And then, um, this one is, um, Molly by, um, Etude, which is right off of Amazon. This is another great one, um, that I've been using, Summer Palette. They're just both really good palettes. So those are the two that I've primarily been using throughout the summer. Um, last couple months, this is the palette that I've been using. It's just, it's like a gold standard. Too Faced Natural Face. Um, I'm obsessed by this palette. I love it. It's wonderful. I see no reason. Do I use every single thing in this? No. Primarily, I don't use the highlighters in here. I use the blushes and occasionally I will use the bronzers. But what I do is especially like summertime. So this looks so bright and so like, oh my God. But what I do is like, so during the summer I'll do two taps and then one tap. And then just, and my new thing is, is that I go like, along the bridge of my nose. That's just, I like that look. I just, I do. I feel like it's just gives that sort of that, you know, sun kiss glow. Like when you're in the sun, the sun doesn't like not get you right here. You know, it doesn't just get you here. So it sort of like has that little sunny glow, you know, that when you sort of get a little sunburn, you're not supposed to, but you know, when you do get that little sunburn and then, and then it, you know, kind of does that little flush and it looks so good. I pick up a new lipstick. Um, I picked up a couple, but this is the one I have down here. So I'm going to show you by Lancome. First of all, their packaging is phenomenal. This one is in a rose gold, but they also have black. So you just push the top and it pops down. Um, this one's really pretty. This one. Oh my God. Let me see. I'll have to put the, I'll have to put it in. So what I have on today, really pretty color. Love it. Um, so that's a good one. The other favorite, let me just say, I don't have the big one down here, but I have the small one. The other favorite is this right here, this conditioner right here. Okay. So I started with the small one and I keep the small one down here and I keep the big one upstairs. Um, and then I fill it. <laughs> so Probably in the next month, um, I will be out of the one upstairs. This is amazing. Why do I have one down here? Because when I use my most favorite, let's just talk about hair, um, uh, tool, which is the Dyson, the Dyson air wrap. Um, this is the tool that I use today to, um, so I have went and got my hair layered, um, around my face cause it was getting a little thick. I'm going to turn it on for just a second. So all I did this morning because she had already straightened it, was just give it a little brush through. That's all. And um, I use the round brush as well. And I love this. I love it. I can go, sorry, I can go from wet hair to curled hair or straight hair um, in like 30 minutes. That's just crazy because I've got a lot of hair. So am I obsessed by that? Yes. Did I do a whole video on it? Yes. So am I going to go into great detail? No, <laughs> I'm just going to say that it's a favorite. Love it. Um, Isolon color. Yes. Now I am going to be trying something new with Isolon and I'm basically going to give myself highlights. Fingers crossed it works well. We'll see how it goes. Um, uh, in the next couple weeks, um, I have the product. I just got my hair done. So meaning not color. I do my own color always. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. Um, the shampoo and conditioner is also by this brand. Um, and I really like it. And, um, again, next month you'll see that I'm going to be out of this. I'll show you what I use right here somewhere, somewhere right here. Um, so that's hair, right? jewelry will be fast um few pieces new pieces of jewelry that i've gotten i don't buy a ton of new jewelry it just really has to speak to me uh these earrings are one um obsessed by them love them they're so cute they're a dual disc hammered and then they have around here and here they have these little um uh, sort of like little crystals. So these are a favorite. I wear them all the time. I love them. Anytime that I'm wearing silver, um, I've been wearing those. Um, the beaded bracelets by Otter Spirit. Um, guess what came in? How light came in, you guys. I told you I was going to order that. I wanted to order the tourmaline and they did not have that. This is the Love Collection. Here, let me put them on. Well, you can put them on, on together. So you have Rose Quartz, Red Jasper, 
and a and rhododendite Rhod rhododendrite pretty sure um, so this is the love collection which they're beautiful they're eight millimeter semi-precious stones they're gorgeous this is how light it's beautiful they all have affirmations which you know I'm all about that and so I think they're so pretty today because I'm wearing black and white how light is black and white um, that is the one that I am wearing today and she's a beautiful um, I also picked up um, this necklace that's really cute. Um, this was in the 4th of July. Well, I'm not going to say 4th of July because it really wasn't, but like the red, white, and blue summer collection. I love this because I wear how I wear a more all the time. And then when I want, I wear the little red hearts. So let me bring that in and try and see. You can see the little tiny red heart. So it's so cute. So it's two in one. So you get two necklaces in one. All right, the other earrings that I picked up um, recently and am obsessed by are these ones here. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. And I could easily wear these ones as well. They're so beautiful. Um, they have these beautiful white stones surrounded in gold and then bling. You guys know how I love bling. And last I checked, both these ones, they're White House Black Market, and these ones are on sale and they're online. So... Um, snag them if you can. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Shoes. Shoes. Oh, this is easy. Easy. Um, I picked up. Hold on. Just grab them all. Okay. This is easy because you guys are probably so sick of this, but I promise this might be the last time that I say these are amazing. Um, so these are the Vince Camutos. I've been wearing these. I'll, I'll be wearing these. These black, white. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, so these are the Gladiators. I originally picked them up in the black. I'll show you all three colors that I have. They come in four. They have a gold as well. So they have the back zip. They have the double buckle that is workable, adjustable. So if you have a wider ankle, not a problem. Um, and then they're cushioned at the heel and they're cushioned at the toe bed. These are so comfortable and they're non-slip. So comfortable. I've worn these eight hours. Easy. So originally I got the black and they're gorgeous. And I'll show you some, some pictures because you could see that's I wear them all the time. Then this gorgeous tan, which is such a natural um, color that it just elongates the leg, which is beautiful. So same. Um, it has the gold hardware as does the black. Then I picked up the cream. This is not a white. This is a cream and it looks stunning, especially with denim. I'll show you with the denim dress. Um, it looks beautiful. This has silver hardware. So same, but um, I'll show you uh, as I did before. This is what a cream looks like. This is a bright white. So just so you could see um, Beautiful beautiful sandal and they are my favorite last time, time I checked they were on sale Then I needed to pick up a true white sandal um, A dressier sandal not a flip-flop. I have like I don't want to say flip-flops because they're not really flip-flops I have like Tory Burch you know sandals that don't have any back to them but i wanted like a good walking sandal if that makes sense these ones are great these are by tommy hilfiger again they're cushioned are they as cushioned as the mince committos no um they have the gold hardware which is very pretty i like that they have the little just the little details right um and this is adjustable here as well so these are the ones it's pretty much all i've worn <laughs> unless i am wearing an espadrille and of course I have my favorite espadrilles that I'll wear but 90% of my outfits lately I've been wearing these shoes again I pulled the black ones to wear with this dress today it's supposed to rain so it's one of those that's why I'm wearing kind of a long sleeve and and everything like that now I typically so those are shoes typically with um, clothing, I would just tell you some of my favorite pieces. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to tell you my favorite brand and I, I am not sponsored by them in any way. I'd love to be, but, but I'm not, I buy all my own clothing from them. Um, loft for some reason, so much of what I have shown you lately is from loft and it's just been 
like every time I go into the store, and I'm not a person that goes into the store very often, y'all. Um, I go into the store, it's like, oh my gosh, look how cute that is, and this and this and that. And I think that they need help on their website. <laughs> um, because some of the stuff that I've purchased, and then I go back and I look on the website, I'm like, oh, I would have never. I, because I, I look on their website all the time. And this is this this is a dress right here from Loft. Um, this is the pineapple dress that I call it the pineapple dress because it has pineapples, and it's super cute, black and white, lovely. It's a beautiful linen style, buttons all the way from top to bottom. I like that it has longer sleeves. I know some of you ladies have like, can you show me stuff that has a longer sleeve? Here you go, right here. Beautiful summer dress. It's beautiful. Um, but like these three dresses right here, I just posted on Instagram this morning. Well, you, you're going to be seeing this next week. But I posted these um, on Instagram because they're all the same silhouette. So whether you want like a chambray denim, whether you want a paisley, or whether you want a nice bright color, this style is so incredibly flattering, I think. Um, I really like how it cinches in at the waist um, and gives you that and then hides, you know, maybe we don't we want to hide the stomach and the hips. It's like perfect. It is you know, it does have straps, so it is showing your arms, um, but it's, they're great summer dresses. This cute little sweater right here, oh my god, 4th of July, come on you guys. I'm going to say this sweater right here, 4th of July, gorgeous, adorable, but it's not just for 4th of July. This gingham top, again, beautiful for the summer, looks amazing with white. They have the cutest, um, uh, frayed shorts that look amazing and I am not one that one likes shorts and two that likes denim shorts but these are so uh, cute and I really like them and they come in three colors and then they have the star shirt which I'm obsessed by um, which is just a beautiful navy with little white stars and it looks so cute with this eyelet skirt that I'm seriously obsessed with as well. So, I mean, I could just go on and on and on and on and on. And that's pretty much what I've been wearing um, for the last like month and a half. Primarily what you're going to see me in. I love dresses. They're easy. They're breezy. They're an outfit in itself. I don't have to think. Um, but if you don't, if you see me in anything else, these white jeans, please, we've talked about this. These jeans are amazing. They're one completely reasonably priced, super high waisted, white buttons, um, the, the way that, and it's a curvy fit. So the way that it fits is so good. So don't size up on these ones. Raw hem. So if they're too long, take them to your seamstress, take them to your dry cleaner, and have them chop it off to to whatever level you want, and have them just fray it. I don't know how they do that, but they do it there. Um, I pulled this green dress and then turned around and bought this dress. These were my $13 dresses. $13, you guys. It hasn't changed from when I bought the green one last year to buying the navy and white one. It's great. Use a nice big white belt um, and it scream summer um, and then as you move into fall you could put like a, a denim jacket, a brown belt, and a pair of booties. It's like they're great transition pieces. They're not just for summer, but for $13, who cares if it was just for summer? I think that I am going to do a little shout out to just because some of the new pieces that I am um, obsessed with is White House Black Market. This little dress right here is so cute. I just finally found a freaking dry cleaner. <laughs> there was no dry cleaner within like a 20 mile radius, I swear, it's insane. Um, this one right here, um, I have a picture of it. So cute. It has pockets. It's just lightweight. It's very New England. It is adorable and I absolutely love it. And then this dress right here, if you're going to like um, a, uh, a summer wedding, if you're going on vacation, if you're going to a resort, this dress is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous as is this one. These ones are beautiful. Um, I'm already taking both to the resort that we're going to, um, but it's not until the end of July. Guys, that is it. Favorites, fails, and empties for the month of May and June. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, take a minute, hit that thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys!